This morning, our border, yes, it's back in the spotlight again. We're talking about the future of Title 42. It's up in the air. Today, the Secretary of Homeland Security testifying on Capitol Hill. And CBS 8's Chris Groh is live in San Ysidro right now, staying on top of the developments. Good morning to you, Chris. Hey, good morning, Netta. Look, a lot of pressing questions as you wake up this morning. What will the border look like once Title 42 ends? And it, will it end? Will it be held up by a judge or maybe even congressional Republicans? A lot of these questions floating around right now as we inch closer to the date that the White House has looked at and identified as the day that they wish to lift Title 42. Now, what is likely to happen today is that Department of Homeland Security uh, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas will likely face those questions and more on Capitol Hill. Now, remember, he's scheduled to testify today. And tomorrow, the DHS secretary did recently release a 20 page memo on how the White House plans to handle an expected surge at the border once Title 42 is lifted. A lot of Democrats and Republicans have expressed concern that this would likely be lifted without there being a plan in place. So this plan includes a six part memo, but also includes an expansion of expedited removal that allows the government to deport those who do not ask for humanitarian refuge or fail to initiate asylum screenings. Meanwhile, that judge in Louisiana is temporarily restraining the White House from its plan to lift the measure by May 23rd. A hearing for that is set May 10th. At the same time, Congress, they may look to do something themselves. After Mayorkas testifies, Republicans appear to be leveraging a COVID-19 relief package to try to force a vote on it. The border is already entirely too open. Pulling back the Title 42 authorities will only make it dramatically worse. We're going to be working through this to see if we can come to a position that our caucus can agree on. And according to CBS News, the White House has said that it does plan to comply with whatever it is that the court decides, that judge decides after that hearing on May 10th.